Do we have a question? Compared to us, because people come in and out of here so much, it seems like you've been here a long time. Does it feel that way to you? It, it does in a way. Um, I mean, at the same time, it feels kind of like it's flown by. So um, I can remember freshman year getting here, and then it seems like forever ago that that, that was the case. So, um, yeah, it does seem it does seem like I've been here a while. So what's going to be your best memory of being here in your time? Oh, man. Um, I'd probably have to say the national championship. I'm just growing up and watching it on TV, and then just being a part of it was really special for me. John. <laughs> Easily. No hesitation. No hesitation. How much did you grow up here and wanting to play for Kentucky? Uh, that was always my dream school. I'll be honest, I would probably never expected I'd actually be here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was a Kentucky fan my whole life, and my dad was his whole life before that. So um, I knew that if I ever got the opportunity to play for Kentucky, that I would always take it. So um, it's really just a dream come true for me to be here. and. I've been here for four years, and all the things I've experienced is really um, special for me and my family. How much has it been? I'm, I'm sure when some people thought when they they were pretty late in the process and so forth, oh, you know, he'll get some minutes here and there. But you've been much more of a factor than, than that. How much when you can How much has it been any different in that regard than what you thought it would be, or did you think all along I, I've got a chance to be to make a sizable contribution? I mean, me personally, just being a competitor, I always thought that. Um, maybe down the road, I would I would get significant minutes and be able to compete with um, Division One opponents. And I don't know if a lot of people thought that. Even people that were close to me would ever think that, just because Kentucky is on such a high level. So um, I'm just really grateful for everything that I've been a part of and everything I've been able to accomplish. And um, I don't know, it's just like a dream come true. Jerry, you said the championship was obviously top on the team list, but is that Maryland game still the top individual moment? Maybe? Um, I, I, I guess so, individually speaking. Um, I mean, that was the first time I ever really played in the game that mattered. And, um, I don't know, yeah, that was just kind of the, the rise of my career, whatever, playing time and stuff. So, yeah, that was definitely special for me. Jared, everybody wants to play for Kentucky, but not a lot of people get to do that. Mm -hmm. you, you've seen behind the curtain, so to speak. What is it like that regular people? Um, probably just just how hard it is. Um, I guess people a lot of times see see the glamour of it and how every, everyone's a pop star and all, all that stuff. And that's really that's really cool. And being able to um, be role models for kids and stuff like that is really cool. But um, a lot a lot of hard work goes into it, and um, and we like that. We call it the grind. So that's pretty cool for us. And yeah, I guess just the hard work and everything that you have to put into it to be successful. Cal Star said it's hard to play here. What do you think he meant by that? Um, I mean, you're, you're always looked at, you're always, um, the fans are always looking at you 24 seven. And, um, if you have a bad game, then everyone's going to see it. And, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just a really, um, I don't know what a good word is, but I mean, everyone's just watching you at all times. So that's probably the hardest thing about it. the word fun in, in, in place of play. You said what? I have fun here. Just insert the word run, uh, fun instead of play. Is it hard to have fun playing here? He said it's hard to have fun playing here. I don't think it's hard to have fun playing here. I mean, we have the best fans in the in the nation, and um, um, I don't know. For me personally, I mean, I've always wanted to play at Kentucky, so every time I step on the court, it's fun for me. Jerry, where's this team's mood at after Saturday? I think I think we're in a good spot. I mean, to what to where we could be. Um, I don't think we've given up on the season at all. I think um, we're we're just trying to improve and. And work harder than we ever have before, and um, we we really don't think the season's over, and we think we can write our own story, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. So we can't we can't look at the last two games and just say we're done. We have to we have to work harder than we have all season, and I think that's what we're doing right now. There's starting to be more and more similarities, <coughs> at least to this point, to last year. Why why will this one go differently? Why did, why do you think this team, or is this team, made up differently? Um, I mean, I don't know how to compare the two, but. I know for this team specifically that we've we've met a lot and um, we we've told each other that we are writing our own story from here on out and everything that's past us is gone. We're we're starting zero zero. We're we're starting fresh and um, 
I think our spirits are, are better than what people think they are. And um, I don't know. I think we just think it's on us, and we're just going to go out and compete every day. Coach said a moment ago that he's still trying to figure out whether to be a hard ass, pardon my French, or a nice player coach kind of guy. What do you think you guys would respond to best at this point? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's on us. I mean, people are kind of hounding Cal right now, but at the end of the day, it's really on the players. I mean, we have to, no matter how he's coaching, we have to um, respond to that in a good way. And I think we've had a lot of talks with him personally and um, us as a team. So I think we're in a good spot. And no matter no matter what happens, we know that um, at the end of the day, we have to go out and perform. It's not anyone else. It's us as players have to perform. It's kind of like us against the world now after you guys lose in a couple of games. Do you know how it's like around here? I mean, I mean that's kind of how we're, we're looking at it. I mean, everyone around the nation doesn't think we have a shot. They think we're, we're done for. And um, yeah, that's kind of what we're rallying behind. It's us against the world, and we're going to prove everyone wrong. Anything else for Jared?